Welcome to module 12 of our course in financial accounting. You've made it. This is the final module of our course. Congratulations on having made it so far. And this module, I don't think is the hardest, right? I think we've done harder things. Bonds, preparing a statement of cash flows. Those are much harder than what you will tackle in module 12. But this might be the single most useful module of the whole course. And the reason I say that is many of you who are going to go into accounting and become accountants, a lot of the previous modules you use more. However, if you're not going to become an accountant, you're a marketing major or HR or organizational behavior, whatever, uh, you still might be and likely will be in a position at some point in your life to read a set of financial statements. Somebody's going to hand you a financial report and you've got to kind of try to make heads or tails of it. And I got to tell you, even working professionals, very smart people sometimes struggle when they're faced with a financial statement. Somebody hands it and it looks like Greek to them. And it reminds me of me with my car. I'm not a car guy. I'm not a mechanically inclined person. And so when something goes wrong with my car, I, you know, if I were to pop the hood of the car and look inside and look at the engine, I don't know what I'm looking at. It is just all pipes and things. I, I have no idea what it is I'm looking at. And so, you know, every time I have a car problem, of course, I, I don't solve it myself. I don't troubleshoot it myself. I take it to a mechanic and here's my mechanic and I take it to the mechanic and the mechanic, I'm at their mercy. The mechanic will say something like, you know, my car's making a weird noise and they'll say it's the uh, schnooten fruit uh, device of the car. They'll say some word I don't understand, you know, carburetor, spark plug, all these things. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they do. And I look at the mechanic and I just go, uh-huh, uh-huh. And the mechanic will like, he'll hold up the part that's broken that's causing it to make a noise right and they'll say oh i took this out of the car and you can see there's big corrosion on this a pipe <laughs> whatever they're talking words i don't know and i just go oh okay yeah yeah oh i see the corrosion like i have no idea i'm bluffing right completely bluffing and that situation plays out for me once a year. I go to the mechanics and I just have no idea what's going on. I just hope for the best and I hope I'm not getting screwed. Uh, I honestly don't know. And it reminded me of a previous phase in my life when I worked as a CPA and we'd have clients come in in their year end and many of them were sophisticated, right? You could just speak the language of accounting to them and they were, they would, we'd have a conversation, but at least 25% of those clients I'd come in and I'd be discussing their year end financial statements and they would be like me at the mechanic. They'd be going, uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And all they were thinking in the back of their mind was, I hope my tax returns okay. I hope I don't get arrested by for tax evasion. You know, that's why I hired you, the accountant, to take care of these matters. And they were just, oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And uh, the point of this is many of you will be in that situation where you are presented with financial statements and you I have a choice in life, right? You can be like me with my car and just go, well, I'm never going to find this. I'm never going to understand this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And you can do that, which is not good. Or you can pick up the skills where you can start to understand what's going on. And that's what module 12 is all about. You're not going to be a financial statement expert by the end of this module, but you will have some of the tools to help you read and understand financial reports when you're provided with them. So somebody hands you a financial report, you can look at it and say, oh, these are the interesting things I should be looking at. These are the things I should be concerned about. And maybe these are the things I shouldn't be concerned about. So that's the focus of module 12. We're going to learn horizontal analysis, horizontal, vertical analysis. And last, we're going to learn a lot of new ratios. These are all tools in better understanding financial statements. So when you are handed a financial statement, you're not going to be like, me going, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You'll look at it and you'll go, ah, I know what to look for. That's what the hope is of this module. We'll see how we do. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. The next video in our series is right up here. And if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.